Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Golden if you're here for the first time and today we're gonna go straight right in. I've got the new, I've got the first ever black magic box camera and I know what you're thinking. If you think it's the Pixel 6K, you're wrong. In my hands is the Micro Studio Cameras 4K G2 from Blackmagic. All right, if, it's, if this is the box, imagine how the camera is. I don't think the Pixel will be anywhere close to this. I think the Pixel will be about a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller than this entire box. And that's why I thought of giving this a try because I really want it as small as possible. And of course, as cheap as possible. Now, this is a raw recording camera. And um, I think this will do good in my studio. Um, something you can set up and forget. I never had the micro, the first, the original micro, but this is the first one I'm having. I'm recording or I'm looking at you on this screen is the Cisk, uh, Blackmagic Cisk Studio which I'm hoping to pair with this guy. Now, here's what I'm trying to do. If I do fall in love with this camera, I'm going to have another one and set them up for my YouTube, um, the regular, U this YouTube channel. And then I'll have something else set up for my African channel. Okay, so my African channel, where we get to converse, we might have guests one, to one, two, three sometimes. Um, I want to be able to have the autofocus do its thing and, you know, be free. Uh, but this one, I can control. Having uh, the zoom demands, I can work with that and I should be fine. So let's quickly unbox it and see. For now, I don't think I will be rigging it, uh, depending on what I experience. Um, but I'm trying to stay away from that expensive oh but good xlcs rig um it's the about the only rig for this guy but it's very good it's very good um it does the job so i can't complain but i just feel like i won't be needing it but if i find out i do i will grab it but i'll tell you some options i have in mind um in some videos to come okay so i'm gonna um kind of document my experience with this guy and show you how I use it eventually. And uh, so we should expect a couple of videos regarding this guy on this channel. Guess what it comes with? Of course, it's like um, instructions, welcome package. There is no DaVinci Studio. The universal power um, socket. Of course, the charger comes with it. Plug it in here and then tiny my god i never would have thought this small when i saw this pack i said probably it'll be half filled but the container is the shape of what i expected this fits right in and i'm like what how come there's a there's a full hdmi here is this thing wow this is amazing now this is what you build <laughs> now you can build this one into i know i don't think i don't see how this guy can grow like how can you make this thing too big now look at it it's in my hand wow so i must say this is the smallest camera i've ever seen besides gopro just slightly bigger than gopro wow I wonder how that cage will be with it. On this side, we have um, SDI in, SDI out, but they are tiny. Tiny. One, two. Yeah. We have the um, power power button set up and down in the, in the menu button. So the up and down navigation is there. USB, 12 volt HDMI. Oh man, I'm loving this. And I guess this will make you, this will help take up this, the screen, the cap, the screen lens or screen cover, APS-C, 
All right. This is interesting. I will have set up this guy as fast as I can without going through too much. I, I'm not trying to figure out the menu now, but I'll turn it on, power it up, and have another camera, have it set up so it could get another view of me. All right, so let's do that. All right. Nobody told me. Well, from all the videos, I thought I watched all the videos. But uh, from all the videos that I've seen, nobody mentioned that it's a... Or at least I didn't hear, though. That is a, that is a mini SDI. Um, yeah. I know it's full HDMI, but turns out this is mini. Mm, I didn't catch that. I did not catch that. But for now, we can work with this. Let me turn the power on and see. All right. So let's use this. This is the T5, Samsung T5. Remember, I made a video how to how to put it in here. Um, the launch box. This guy in. So we have only one camera showing now. Um, let's see. It's not. It's found. It found the the media now. Um, he wants us to format media. Nope, we're not gonna do that. We have some files there. All right. Good thing I bought. I got something down because I sold all my micro four thirds from way back. Um, but I bought one lens in preparation for this. Um, uh, it's the Mikey or Mikey uh, 35 1.4. Uh, I just wanted something not to. It's really cheap. It's really cheap, fast, and um, should be a decent picture. Long time no Mickey. I used to have the Cine lens set. Uh, so this will be their first regular lens that I'm getting. But let's see how it plays out. I wanted it because it's also portable. It's a good focal length that I may not have to stress myself over anything more. Um, Now, now the image can come out. Ah, ah, ah. I see myself now, but it's dark though. Okay. Now we have to set up the language is English. So, oh, there's a image stabilization option that is grayed out. It looks like there might be a, an update in the future. That would be nice, but uh, or maybe I, I don't know how to turn it on, but there is. All right, I'm just gonna push the button, the record button now. It's recording. Yep, our record is on now. Let's see. Uh... Yep. Uh, so I was setting the image not knowing I wasn't recording. Let's see. Let me refocus. There we go. Something like this should be good. Alright. We take a look at the colors. I wish um, it was the other black magic still on. I wish I took out the sun and not that. So I can have two black magic on. But I don't have storage ready for. That's the thing, they both need SSD, so I have to look for something else, alright? But that's how this image looks like. Alright, so I'm going to sign out now. That was just a test, pretty much an unboxing. Um, I'll go find out, I haven't found the ISOs and all that. Um, which of course is DB in this camera, not ISO, so I haven't found out how to get to that menu. Um, so I can get my settings on. And I'm impressed. The image is good. The image is very good. All right. Watch out for more videos concerning this stuff. I'll definitely rig it up because uh, I was all over the place without the rig. Everything falling apart. No, no space for SD, um, SSD. So I had the wire dangling and falling off every now and then. So. 
um, that's no good. We, we want to get it steady and uh, so that anytime you bring it down, you want to set things up, you, uh, you have the formula, you have a structure to follow. Um, yeah, you definitely need the, the rig and then you know, trying to do all this on this button that you can't see now. So I'm going to get a monitor dedicated to it. Yeah, small HD. Option two will be the small HD. It's so dusty. I had to go dust it out. <laughs> My God, it's been long. Uh, so many gadgets I have that I um, <laughs> I've been using. Hopefully, we'll not get the the small HD Action Five. Remember, I reviewed it some time ago. It's quite portable for this camera. Uh, watch out for more videos. I definitely have more videos. Maybe the next one will be the rig and um, test footage. And um, yeah. I'll say, show you how I eventually set it up on the studio um, moving forward. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Like, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.